ladies and gentlemen. Logan Fott. This is your second season coaching the men's soccer team. What did you learn from last season that you wanted to incorporate into this season? Yeah, I think just being a little more comfortable with uh, the understanding of what junior college soccer is like, Region 4 is like. Um, every game is difficult, uh, so we go into every game knowing that that one could end up being the difference between you know, either being in the tournament or out, or hosting versus going on the road, or having a first round bye. So I think every game uh, this season, you know, that's something that we've put into, into place is that we want to make sure that we understand that every game is very, very important, and I think that's showed in how we've played as the season's gone along. As a coach, what is one way you help your team prepare for each game? Yeah, I think, you know, when it comes to preparation, right, we're the day before a game right now, and I think we just want to have, you know, good vibes going into the next day, right, make sure we're healthy, make sure we're feeling good about ourselves, confidence high, right, so we tend to do some finishing in the, in the day before, so goalkeepers see reps, um, goal scorers get a chance to put balls in the back of the net, defenders maybe see a chance to, to keep balls out, right, anything that we can do to go into a match day feeling at our absolute best, both physically, mentally, uh, and then technically, right, that's what we try to do. You have a group of second year players that have been with you since your arrival. What does that group mean to you in this program? Yeah, that's a great question. I think for me coming in so late uh, in April of 2023, you know, only about four or five months prior to our start, there really wasn't a whole lot of recruiting done um, in preparation for that fall as far as guys I could get in. Those that I, I was able to work with or were already recruited um, were phenomenal in, in helping me adjust to, to life here at Madison College. Um, and those that have obviously been here for year two, you know, that's been such a special bond, I think, that we have, right? Kind of, you know, making this program into something that we can be proud of, building the type of culture we want it to be, um, and seeing them grow as, as individuals, grow as students, and obviously grow as players on the field has, has been a very rewarding thing for me as a coach. And the, the relationship I have with each of them, I think, is something I'll cherish beyond, obviously, these two years with them. And now, how have the newcomers stepped in and contributed? Yeah, we have a really good recruiting class. I think you can see in the... You know, the statistics and, you know, game starting and stuff, we, we tend to start at least half of our, our starting 11 is always first year players, if not more. Um, many of them have had different contributions throughout the, the course of the year. And, you know, we've had them step up on all different lines from goalkeeper to back line, midfield and forward. So for us, I think the, the impact that those newcomers have made has, you know, helped us uh, as a skill level, you know, to really take the next step, be able to compete with every team on our schedule. Whereas last year, you know, we maybe had to, to grind out some, some more defensive performances to try to get a result. Where this year we go in every game feeling like, you know, we're confident enough, we believe in our abilities where we can be the team on the front foot and go after the win in every single game. And I think the newcomers have helped us be able to do that. And finally, what's the goal for the rest of this team for the season? Yeah, after last year's ending, uh, it was really disappointing kind of how it all played out of, you know, finishing one place out of the playoffs after thinking we were in. So for us, I think it's just about getting in first, um, you know, and after that, I don't think any team's going to want to play us, whether we're the 12th seed or the one seed. Um, so for us, I think it's just about trying to continue to build upon our performance every game here on out, trying to grow up a little bit as a team with our newcomers. You know, we do have some immaturity at times, and I think for us, we've, we've made big strides in that area, but also to, to continue to grow up and, you know, kind of become a little more professional with how we operate, with how we perform, with how we train. Um, and that, that'll show, obviously, in the games and the results. And, you know, if we are able to play a game in November, that means we're doing our job, obviously, of, you know, reaching a goal of playing in the playoffs. And like I said, I don't think any team's going to want to play us at that point. So as long as we're able to, to do that, um, we'll be in a really good place. All right. Thank you.